So it's driving me home right now. My feet are not on the pedals. I can see everything. Semi truck, semi truck, car, car. Okay, lights green. We're proceeding. We're emerging really close to this car. <laughs> It's not me, people. It's the cars driving. <laughs> it like pretty much cut that person off. Okay, so I have a loaner car because my car's in the shop. So they gave me a car pretty much just like mine. Dual motor, but this one has the white white interior with the white dash but other than that pretty much the same car this one has full self-driving beta so the car has the ability to drive not only on freeways and highways but also on city streets and to stop at stoplights and stop signs and make turns all on its own so i'm gonna take advantage of the opportunity to check it out let's go to the theater okay navigating put it in drive all right so you can see it's trying to figure out which direction to go Okay, now we have a steering wheel option here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now turn right onto South San Fernando Boulevard. Okay, the car is doing everything on its own. Here's the path. Oh, it's stopping uh, just in case there's a car there. It's waiting. I'm not doing anything, but I am supervising it. Here comes a car. It's waiting for that car. It shows the line where it's planning to stop and waiting for this car waiting for oncoming traffic okay it's going for it i don't see any traffic so i'm gonna let it go it's gonna need to get in the right uh, right lane okay there it goes Whew. now fortunately nobody was Alameda avenue nobody was behind us so it was able to get over you can see the visualizations here Pretty cool, a big truck. Now there's a police car or something coming, so I'm gonna take over. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back into full self-driving. It has the blue line, that means it's engaged. Let's see if it figures out where to get on the freeway. It even sees cars behind us. You can see the car next to us, it knows if it's a uh, a truck, a car, SUV by the size of the vehicle. Okay, I'm now gonna take the interstate five north ramp on the right. Okay, it didn't put on a blinker, but it's turning. Okay, finally put on the blinker. <laughs> a little awkward. Traffic. So far so good. Merging fine. Nobody's there. Okay, I'm taking over because it's really narrow here. It might have done okay, but I didn't feel safe in that situation with the truck over the line. Okay, we're exiting the freeway. Ready to take over. Got to apply slight force. Okay, we're slowing down a lot. Oh, 25, yeah. Most people don't drive like that, but. <laughs> In 500 feet, turn right onto East Orange Grove Avenue. Okay, seems to know where we're going. Now turn right onto East Orange Grove Avenue. Okay, blinkers going on. Stopping. Ooh, harsh stop. Somebody behind me, so I uh, accelerated a little bit because most people don't stop quite that suddenly. Making a left now turn. turn left onto North First Street. 
waiting for the light. You can see stopping for traffic light. You can see all the cars. A uh, person's coming. We should be able to see them walking. There they are. Walking by. What's up, dude? The blue cars are the ones that it's paying attention to, which direction they're going. See how our merge goes here. Need a blinker. Their blinker. Merging. Nobody there. Very good. Just did a test drive with the single motor base model new refresh Tesla Model 3 and now I'm in a loaner car since my car is in the service and want to share some kind of uh, updated uh, impressions of the older version Model 3 and I'm gonna take it out of full self driving as there's a cone in the middle of the road. So the road noise compared to the refresh Model 3 is definitely a lot higher, especially over rough roads. Just hitting a little bit of rough road here, you definitely feel it, but um, it's not it's not a super annoying like some of the old suspension. So and it feels very quiet in here. You just hear a little bit of the road noise, but nothing significant. A lot higher road noise. I feel like I'm talking loud to the camera now just to comp compensate for the road noise. Um, also, the drive is not bad, the, uh, the handling char characteristics, but you definitely feel more of the bumps. And the new Refresh Model 3 just feels much more refined in many areas. Uh, the interior feels very uh, updated. This one feels a little more plasticky and uh, uh, kind of dated. Not bad, but um, I do like the new interior. And uh, there's a lot of new, nice new features in the new car. And this one definitely feels noisier, a little rougher. We're merging really close to this car. <laughs> afraid we're going to miss our exit, so, uh, yeah. um, but, yeah, people are looking at me like, why are you driving like this? It's not me, people, it's the cars driving. Um, oh yeah, we're getting over, I usually wouldn't get over this early, we've still got a mile left, but, wants to make sure we don't miss our exit. So I'm going to put it back in full self-driving. And you're going to see normally these lanes will not exit to the next freeway in your normal autopilot. So it'll plan to get over. There we go. Are we going to... Where are you going to let me in? Man, that was an aggressive move. There's a car right there. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> it like pretty much cut that person off. Like within like a car length of them not totally cut them off but yeah not great <laughs> so as you can see we got over for our freeway change and uh, sticking to the route so your normal autopilot won't do this type of maneuver it'll just stay in the current lane Okay, so I just learned a couple cool things. You can expand your full self-driving screen. So I'm in full self-driving. Car is doing all the driving. I just need to like let it know I'm paying attention. But I can swipe this screen. <laughs> Bad example. I can swipe this across to make a full screen. So now you can see a really good view of what's going on in the visualizations. Now this is only an option if you have the full self-driving package. 
which is I think a $11,000 add-on right now. So I also want to show you as the car decides to change lanes to maintain our speed to get around these cars. Um, I want to show you bust some myths about full self-driving. So if the car wants me to pay attention because this is still in beta. So if you've seen a viral video of somebody sleeping in their Tesla while it drives, that's not realistic. Um, so let's pretend, let's pretend for one, I'm on my phone. So I'm not actually on my phone, I'm looking straight ahead, but I'm having my phone up to my face. And you see the car says, apply slight turning force. If I wait too long, it'll kick me out of full self-driving. Now, if I'm not doing anything, it probably won't bug me as often if I'm paying attention. But let's say I pretend I'm gonna look out as you can see, if I was laying down and sleeping in the car and not touching the wheel or something every 30 seconds, the car would eventually, it would actually nag me. After, it would start beeping. Um, I'll show you. I'll, I won't touch the steering wheel when it asks me to and you'll hear it start beeping. Pretend I'm on the phone. Hello, hello. Hi, buddy. Okay, apply slight force to steering wheel. So if I don't do that, it's going to start beeping at me. And the next stage after beeping is it'll warn me and then it will... There's the beeping. If I let it do it any longer, it's going to kick me out of full self-driving and I'm going to have to drive the rest of the way home. So as you can see, there's there's some ways to cheat it, but it's not meant to be cheated. It's meant to be supervised because it could make a mistake and crash and kill you. So you want to supervise all of its moves just in case. As we saw back there, it was merging kind of close to another car. Not the safest thing, but it's pretty good. It just needs some refinement. As you can see, it slowed down a little bit as we passed that truck because the truck was only going maybe 60 miles an hour and we were going 75. It didn't want to pass at too, too rapid of a speed in case um, you know it creates an unsafe situation. Oh, nice. Slow down for the bumps. Very good. Or like how the, the light is reflecting on three cyber trucks. Three cyber trucks. I love three cyber trucks. <laughs> 